this lesson, I want to show you how to create custom table view rows uh, in order to spice up the way that um, tables appear within your apps. So I've made a bit of a modification to the application that uh, I've been creating with the, uh, the table, uh, table views. Um, it still has the same basic setup. I have a list um, ability to edit the table or at least move the, the uh, items around in the table. Um, what I did was I added just um, some other parameters for setting whether or not the table is editable, uh, whether or not I can move different things in the table, uh, and then set the, uh, uh, the parameters or set the, uh, uh, the properties accordingly. So if we take a look at the, um, um, the code that I have here, I've got uh, two parameters, one set to false for being able to add items, another one set to true. Um, I'm going to change that to true and we'll see what happens with, uh, with the app. Um, but it's essentially uh, the same, uh, same app that uh, I've been working with um, in, the, uh, uh, in one of the previous podcasts. Uh, so uh, there are some notable differences that I do want to point out um, that um, uh, I want to, uh, to deal with. Let's see. So uh, what I want to do is I want to change... Well, I want to remove the, this add button, just be able to uh, edit the items. And then I also don't want to be able to uh, delete items from the, um, the table. And then also uh, I want to add um, some information to each one of these rows. And so what I've done is changed the data up a little bit. Um, so I've got a title, uh, but then also a subtitle and an image that I want to add to the rows. So I'm going to have an image on the left side of the row. I will have this normal title and then also a subtitle uh, and we'll also remove, uh, remove the button. So let's take a look at some of the things that need to be done um, in order to support that. So first of all, uh, like I said, I changed um, my table uh, module um, so that it now adds two different uh, uh, parameters and then the uh, editable uh, parameter will determine whether or not I can add and delete items from the table. Uh, one of the things that I want to do then is uh, build a custom row and uh, what I'm going to do is essentially replace this part of the code here. Um, so replace with custom and I'm going to build a module um, to do that. Um, so we will end up getting rid of essentially this portion of the code and just replace it with um, a custom row that we're going to create. Okay, so uh, let's get to the, the business of creating this custom row. Uh, oh, uh, yeah, so this custom row is, or, or these table view rows are essentially um, views and so what I can do is create a view and I can add things to it so I'm going to add a um, I'm going to add a uh, an image and then I'll add two labels to uh, to this view essentially so let's go ahead and do this as a module I'm going to uh, create a function and I'm going to have uh, let's see as parameters an image that's going to be displayed um, we'll have the title, we'll have the subtitle, um, and then uh, within uh, table views, uh, table view rows, I can also have uh, a caret on the right hand side that tells us whether or not there's more detail, uh, as well as um, I can have a button on the right side um, uh, for configuring a row. Um, so I'm going to use uh, the detail parameter and the child parameter to essentially support that uh, uh, those uh, those markings within a um, within a row. And then finally, I'm going to use a class name, uh, which uh, is something that I haven't really 
uh, discussed at all um, with the table view rows, um, but I want to uh, use it here and I'll, I'll mention this here in a moment. Okay, so uh, let's make sure we get the piece in here for exporting. And then we will create our table view row. So I'm going to have var self equals ti ui dot create table view row. And I'm going to set a couple of properties here. One of them is the layout I'm going to set to absolute. And then I'm going to set a height for my row to be, uh, to be 40, uh, 40 pixels. Uh, so uh, you can obviously, you can change the, the height of the rows. Um, 40 is about what I want in order to fit everything in it that I want. Okay, so let's start off with the image. I'm going to um, create an image. Autocorrect. Create an image view. And for this image, I am going to essentially just use whatever I have as my parameter for the image. And so I need to use a URL, the URL property, which uh, essentially uh, is one of two things. So it's either um, a fully qualified URL. Um, of an image or um, the name of a file. Um, and I'm just going to use whatever is passed to this, um, to this view to be that, uh, to that, that image. Um, I want to set a width for the image. So essentially um, 28 by 28 for the image. Um, and then I'm going to set the, uh, uh, the left boundary for the image to be four and then um, so it's four pixels from the from the left and four pixels from the top for this image. Okay, uh, now I need a label, so I'm going to do the um, I'm going to call this title. Ti dot ui dot create label. And the text for this is going to be title. Um, and then I'm going to use the font property uh, to determine or to specify the font size, which I'll have as uh, 16. Um, and then font weight, uh, which I'm going to set as bold. Uh, and then I want to set a width. And I'm just going to make this auto, so it'll the width of the label will be determined by the text. Um, I'm going to align the text. I'm going to left align the text, uh, and then I'm going to set this text to be essentially two two pixels from the top, um, forty pixels from the left, and at a height of uh, sixteen pixels. Okay, and then finally, I want to create a um, a label for the um, uh, for the subtitle. So subtitle. And um, again, for the text, I'm going to use the uh, input parameter. So in this case, it's subtitle. And for the font, uh, I want to make this uh, a bit smaller, so it'll be 12-point font. And then uh, a font style instead of a font weight, and I want to make this italic. And then uh, same deal with width. Just auto-size that. Um, we'll align this text on the right. And then this is going to be five pixels from the bottom and um, 60 pixels, pixels from the left. 
and then finally a height of 12 pixels. Uh, and then one more thing, I think maybe I'll make the color for this blue color. Blue. Okay, we're almost done. Just a few more things. I need to add these all to the uh, to the table view row. So I'm gonna add the image title. Actually, um, let me change the name of this to C title and C subtitle for custom. Okay. Finally, um, I want to use that class name. So see that class name. Now the class name uh, property uh, is an optimization that is used um, so that uh, rows within a uh, within a table end up being reused. Uh, so whenever we have a table in this form here, um, the things that are the the parts that are in memory for the table include everything that's visible, uh, plus a couple of rows, uh, like half a row up at the top, half a row at the bottom, uh, when uh, items end up going out of view. Uh, so by specifying a class name, uh, what this allows you to do is, or what allows the program to do is reuse that memory rather than creating more memory um, every time that uh, an item is, uh, an item for the table is created. So anyway, it's a simple optimization. Um, you essentially just uh, uh, specify a, a, um, uh, a text string, which we'll see as a parameter uh, to this module. And anyway, so I'm just going to set the class name for the, uh, for the table view row to be class name. Um, and then finish this off, uh, we're going to return the, uh, the table view row. OK. so. Um, that's the um, that's the source for the module. Uh, it's a fairly straightforward thing for creating these table view rows. You create the row, a uh, table view row, uh, create the features that you want to add to it, add it to the uh, uh, add it to the view, uh, and you want to use uh, absolute layout for these uh, so that you can position each of the different items <coughs> in a specific spot within the view that you um, are creating. Okay, so um, the last thing I need to do here is uh, I need to uh, uh, add the um, the table view row to the uh, um, to the uh, to the table, um, and I need to do this by um, uh, essentially uh, like we've done before. I'm going to create. Um, I'm going to use the uh, the require statement to um, include the the code, and then I'm going to create a new row. So a new custom row, and now all those parameters that I was mentioning before need to be used. All right. So before I add those parameters, let's take a look again at uh, the data that I'm using. So I created a, an array that has a title subtitle and an image for each one of the items um, that's going to be in my table. Uh, I think in the past um, I just had an array of, of strings <coughs> for each of the items. Here um, these are, uh, are an array of properties, um, one for each of the um, uh, items uh, that I want to display in the table. And so they have these uh, components title, subtitle, and image, and so we'll access those with the array. Okay, so um, here I need to use data at i, so it's the ith item in the array uh, dot title. So that is the uh, um, that's the or sorry, it should be image. So that's the first item. So let's change that. Oops, sorry here. So it's image. We want. Um, the ith item and the title, ith item and the subtitle, 
Um, and then uh, I want to indicate um, the, um, that's the other, so is there detail and is there a child? There isn't detail, but there is a child uh, because we want to have the view go to the next screen. So I'm going to do false and true, and then finally a class name, so list where in row. Again, this is an optimization that, <clears throat> that's being used to uh, uh, to make sure that the memory is reused. Okay, so uh, another item gets pushed onto the table just like before, and we're essentially done. So again, um, this is this is what it looks like to start. Let's run compiler. And just be a moment here for it to, to compile. Okay, and so now here is my uh, here's my view. So I have my image, I've got my title, I've got my subtitle, um, and um, that is essentially displaying everything that I want. Oh, uh, I guess the one thing I didn't do, I didn't actually use the has detail or the has child properties in the custom row, so I, I should actually do that. Um, so let's do, let's add that, we can add that here by saying has child and has detail. And these are properties, um, default properties within the uh, create table view row. Um, let's change that to detail. Run it again. <clears throat> okay, so uh, I did set them to um, uh, to show that they it has a child and not a detail, and that just indicates that if you select the row, then it'll go to some other view. Which uh, right now we're not uh, we don't actually have it set to do anything. Um, it just uh, uh, displays the uh, the table. But anyway, the main outcome here is the design of the, the table view rows. Um, again, it's it's a matter of just creating a table view row, which is a view, and then adding items to it um, using absolute layout to um, set position. And then you can just use it like any other uh, table view row. I created this as a module just to make sure that everything gets put into one uh, I guess modular piece um, so that we didn't uh, have this all cluttered into a uh, single file with list one. Anyway, that concludes this uh, lesson.